In studio with me is Rod Shoplin, the president of the Lloydminster Tennis Association. It's been a busy year, uh, buffeted a little bit by both weather and construction, unfortunately, for you guys in Bun Miller. Certainly has. We, we had a really good lesson program. Uh, we managed to finish that in good time, but in between some of the rains. But ever since that, it's been raining off and on, and uh, now we're trying to renovate the courts, and it has been a battle. Uh, how long has that been coming, the renovation of these courts? Because obviously you guys are blessed now having the, the extra courts that's allowed you to have this renovation take place. Uh, usually it's uh, between five and seven years they do um, uh, a new topping, new coat on top. Tom Code usually does that. Okay, and that's obviously necessary for next year because you'll have the summer games in town. You need all the courts ready to go. Absolutely, we want to have the courts in pristine condition, and they were due. They were, this was, it worked out well because this was the year to do it anyway. And now, because we talked about this one uh, last year, certainly when we headed into the Paul Douglas tournament, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks, but having these two extra courts now has allowed you to not only weather the storm with this construction and with some of the bad weather as well, just having those extra two courts people can play on, but also it's going to allow you to expand some of your tournament play. It uh, really helped our tournament this past year, the, the Paul Douglas. We added uh, an extra event. Actually, both our tournaments, we added an extra event. So that, that makes a, a big change for us, especially for the, the upcoming tournament, the, the Border City. We put a 3.0 in, which is the kind of the beginner players and the players that you know are just starting to play and they've been playing a year or two. And we allow them a, an area in there, and, and that has uh, been good. And then for the Paul Douglas, splitting up the 4.5 and the 4.0 has really drawn a lot of interest. Now, really quickly, just for folks who are not familiar with tennis um, affiliations, describe the difference between 3.0 and 4.0. Well, 3.0 is, uh, you know, a, a player that can hit the ball and, and play a little bit of tennis, and, and you get to a 3.5, well, they're, they're consistently rallying pretty good, pretty good uh, level of play, and then get into the 4.0, and then you're hitting a lot harder, and then the 4.5 guys are hitting really hard, serves are hard, it's pretty good, very, very competitive. And that's kind of just the next step after that is to the amateur pro kind of level or the pro level? Uh, there's a 5.0 and then the open, yes. And uh, have you uh, you've had any 5-0 players yet in Lo uh, Lloydminster? We've had a few come in and play some of our tournaments, but uh, unfortunately uh, they don't come back because it, it's not uh, a competitive thing for them. 4-5 is a pretty good level for, for most of Saskatchewan anyway, and for us especially. And now, what are some of the players that will be ones to look out for? As we said before, the Border City Tournament, the fifth annual, is coming up this weekend. So that's just Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, depends on the amount of entries. So uh, we kind of hope to start Friday evening, depending on the weather, of course. And uh, and then how how many people are you looking at that in terms of 4.0, 4.5 players? I think we'll probably have about eight okay. of the four or five players, uh, maybe seven, and then uh, the four. And if there's enough to split them up, there'll be another same amount, about eight in the uh, four. Yeah. And how many uh, on the youth side of things participate in this particular tournament? We're, this is the first time we've offered an under 18, and uh, we've only have, I think, one or two entries, so I'm not sure. It's a thing that, I don't know, uh, the youth usually play in the 3-0, the younger guys that come in and play with us, but uh, for the higher level, there is not a lot of that in, uh, in Saskatchewan at all. They play basically in Regina and Saskatoon. Yeah, and we'll, of course, we do have a couple of days to add to that total uh, as the uh, Border City 5th Annual Tournament will take place again this weekend.